All right, so we've got this engine put back in this truck and it is ready to do a couple of things. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and make sure that we build oil pressure before I start turning this engine. So I have put together a 5 16 socket on a couple of extensions to make sure that I can reach down in there well without having to get down into everything. If you've noticed, I've taped this socket to this extension and taped these extensions together because I don't want to drop this down in there very bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this drill down in here. All right, we're going to run this down in here and we're going to get it connected to the oil pump. Now, we're going to come around. We're going to watch this gauge right here and I'm going to go spin that oil pump and when that gauge builds pressure you're going to signal me. There it goes. It's right in the middle. Okay, so now that we've built oil pressure, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring this engine up to top dead center on piston number one. And I'm gonna do that by turning the engine and I've got this hose connect, connected into my number one cylinder. There you can hear it come up on compression. Now what we're going to do is we're going to locate our timing mark, which is down inside of here and we're going to bring this right up on top dead center number one so I may have to remark that because I can't see it real well so what we're going to do is we're going to take this line right here and we're going to mark line it up with this pointer right here so we're really close to top dead center on number one right now. I'm just gonna move this engine just a little bit so that we get it exactly on top dead and then I'm gonna stab the distributor. Okay, now we're gonna locate the number one cylinder on the distributor, which on this particular vehicle is almost exactly in line with this groove right here. So we're going to set this back just a little ways because as it goes in, it's going to spin just like this as it falls into place. So we're going to set this off to the side just a little bit. Take this distributor. Set it down in here. And it goes just like that. And we are about one tooth off it looks like so now unfortunately one tooth off usually means that we're going to have to turn the engine to get the distributor to line up that's too far All right, there we go, just like that. Now we're gonna set this just like this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this hold down on it. And we are not going to get it all the way tight. We're just going to get it down to snug. Now while I am doing this, I am going to go ahead and put a new rotor and cap and wires on this truck. So I'll bring you back in just a second and we'll put the wires on it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the spark plug wires on this. Now, the firing order on this engine is right here one three seven two six five four eight and it shows us which spark plug or, or which cylinders is what and it shows us where 
the number one plug wire is supposed to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this and I'm gonna put my plug wires on. Um, and then with this particular one, we also have a coil wire, which goes from the middle of the distributor to the coil, which is over on that side. Now this engine is marked as number one on the distributor cap right here. So we're going to make sure we get that to snap on. You can hear them snap on. Okay, and then I've got the number one spark plug over here. And we're just going to go through this and follow our order in rotation. So the next one that we're going to put on is going to be number three. Which is going to be this wire right here. And I'll run it through here because I like things to be kind of out of the way. So we'll put that on there and we'll put it on the third cylinder on this side and we're just going to repeat that all the way through on this distributor until we get all the plug wires on and then we're going to, uh, once I get the plug wires on I'll go ahead and bring you guys back and then I'll talk to you guys about a couple of things that we need to make sure we do before we try to start this engine. All right, so now that we've got the distributor set to top dead center on number one, um, we're going to come over here and right here on this side of this truck is the ignition output or spark output. And we have to pull this little connector out of it in order to be able to adjust the timing. And so we won't be able to start this truck unless we can adjust the timing. Now, I'm going to just turn the key on. Hear the fuel pump kick on. And make sure that your fuel pump kicks on. And we are going to... That's trying to start. set this timing with the vacuum gauge. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and loosen this distributor up just a little bit. And then we're going to get our vacuum gauge. We're going to watch our vacuum and we're going to advance our timing until the vacuum gets to its maximum level. going to be about right there and then we're going to back it off about one inch of vacuum. We're going to go ahead and back it off from that advanced level about one inch. And then what we're going to do we're going to tighten this distributor back up while we hold it right in place. Now we've got our base timing set. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to shut the engine off and we're going to plug our little pigtail back in that spark spout. So um, that's pretty much it. We've got this up and running. Uh, I'm going to drive it for a little while and see how it goes. So now that we've got everything put together, and we've got this truck so that it'll start and run. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use our timing light to adjust and or check and maybe adjust the ignition timing. So the first thing that we need to do on this truck is we need to disconnect this spark outlet plug right here so that we can adjust the timing. And I have gone in and marked the timing on the crankshaft 
with a silver mark. And you can see the pointer that that silver mark is to line up with. We're just a little bit off of the mark right now. So I'm going to start this truck. We're going to take our timing light. You can see where the timing mark is. Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna I'm gonna use this advance unit on my timing light and I'm gonna point this down in there and I'm gonna adjust that mark so I get it right to the pointer just like that right there. Now that shows me being at about 8 degrees. I just set this with a vacuum gauge. And it shows me being at about 8 degrees. And we want to be at about 10. So I'm going to loosen this distributor up just a little bit. And we're going to advance it just a little. And then we're going to recheck it. Now we're right at 10 degrees of advance and our spark is lined up perfectly. So I'm going to tighten this distributor up right there. Now that we've set the timing, we're going to shut the truck off. And we're going to take our spout or spark outlet plug and we're going to put it back in this. And now our computer will adjust the timing according to how the engine is operating. It will read the inputs and change the timing and the fuel mixture according to that. So um, we're just going to finish everything up on this truck and we're going to go ahead and let it go down to the emissions shop to get emissions tests on it.